Welcome to another episode of the Cobra Daytona Build. In this episode, we're gonna start mounting our brake reservoirs. As I said, we're gonna fab these things into here, into here. So we've gotta weld in some tabs. Um, this is gonna be a little project. This is not gonna be a quick five minute uh, deal here. It's gonna be quite a bit of work to get these things in here. But I think in the end, once they come up through that aluminum panel like you see over there, um, it'll be a really nice, clean, custom look. So. We'll kind of take you along a journey here and figure out how we're going to do that. So we're trying to figure out how to do Ooh, that actually is better because now I don't have to affect the aluminum. I was going to have to cut the aluminum back. That is much better. So that saves me. We'll go to that one. I'd really weld, rather weld on that one. Does that fit? Yeah. I think that's the way to go right there. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. You could probably almost drill that with that. No way. And not, yeah, I just, I think we weld a couple of tabs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld some tabs onto this bar uh, and then we'll drill through here, probably cut these things off to clean it up a little bit. And this will be one into here. This other one, we've gotta either mill or grind down and then same thing, weld some tabs unless my son can come up with a better idea. But that was great because that way I can keep this aluminum like that because if not, I was gonna to have to cut that back and not pick that up. So that, that that's perfect, great idea. So that's why two minds are better than one. So we got the one problem solved. Now I think, let's see what we can come up with here. Okay, so I've got these brackets we made. They're going to, uh, we're gonna TIG weld these in like this and like this. And uh, then the brackets that hold these canisters are gonna mount in from the top. So as you can see, a lot of fabrication, a lot of work just to mount reservoirs where we could have just stuck them on the firewall, been done. But as I said, this is how to take your build to the next level. So we'll get the TIG out and see if we can get this welded up. I've got the uh, plate uh, held on with a clamp here. So I'm just going to tack both sides, then we'll level it, and then I can actually run a bead. Uh, we're just going to weld one side. This thing's not structural. It's not holding a lot of weight, you know, a few ounces of brake fluid. So we'll run a bead here and... Uh, See how this turns out. So we got two tacks. Um, we're gonna level this thing, make sure it fits, and then we'll uh, run a bead. So we're getting there. So the two uh, mounting tabs are now welded to the chassis. So I'll finish welding this one here. That one's done and uh, then we can drill holes and this thing is progressing nicely. And then what we'll do is get the um, aluminum piece on, we'll mark the bottom with the uh, reservoirs and then cut out the aluminum. So we're making some progress here and uh, hopefully a little while longer should be done. So we drilled out the brackets, we center punch, we drilled out the uh, aluminum brackets uh, and then we center punch the bracket that's welded onto the frame to line up perfectly because there's no room for air here. If we're off by a 30 seconds of an inch, it does not fit. So it's got to be dead on. So we're drilling these out and we'll go from there. We're drilling out the uh, the plates, the aluminum that holds the reservoir now. So they'll, we can then, we tapped. So what I've done is, so I don't have to try to put a nut behind this. I've actually tapped these. So that way we can just drive a 1032 in to hold that reservoir in, which makes it easy. Don't have to try to get a nut on and done, so. This is the whole idea right here. So then we'll put the aluminum panel back over the top. We're gonna mark with a Sharpie where that's gotta go. And uh, then we'll cut the holes, be just a little, maybe 16th gap all the way around here where it goes through the aluminum so it doesn't touch. But uh, we'll get this one here done up next, so. We got the one in, the other one got the holes tapped. Hopefully everything lines up. Look pretty good. I think it will. Be. We'll put the aluminum back on, get it all buttoned up, and then from the bottom side, we're going to mark with the sharpie the opening. There we go. That looked pretty. Uh, it's a little below. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. 
So that's kind of what we're doing. So we'll get the aluminum back on, we'll mark the bottom with a Sharpie, and then figure out how we're gonna open the holes in the aluminum to just match this hole here. So we gotta put the canister in here, and then I'll, uh, what I did here is I backed this screw out, get the canister out, put the canister in, back the screw out, the number of turns that I took to get it back in. So I know this hole is the exact diameter. So we'll do the same thing with here, we'll pull it out, uh, I think it's about one full turn to tighten this up. So we'll put the screw back in so we know this hole is right where it needs to be. So we can pull those two back out and figure out where we need to be. And then we'll put the aluminum back on. So what we did is we took the reservoirs, we flipped them upside down so then we could center punch onto the aluminum. Um, still got to clean this up. I hit this with a hole saw, two and a half inch, a little wide, but we'll clean that up with a file to kind of get rid of all the sharp edges. And this one will sit down in there, of course, but that's just the way it is right now. And then these things will be poking up, kind of like here, the tape's holding it up, because if not, it'll fall through. So now you get an idea of how this is going to look. Very clean, uh, but yeah, it, it all looks damn perfect, actually. So very custom. So that is how you uh, add another custom touch. So thanks again for watching. Uh, any questions, please shoot me a comment, and uh, we appreciate you watching. And if you'd love to see more, please hit subscribe. Thank you.